Hi, I'm Sebastian Manila. I'm from the University of Los Andes in Colombia. And I work for the pre shower detector, the CMS. Hello, I am Juan Sebastian Rodriguez. I'm coming from the University of Los Andes from Colombia. I'm working to the uh, pre shower detector. And how long have you guys both been here? Right, so we have been here for six months already. Uh, we got an internship to come to work at CERN as electronic engineers, as a collaboration in the electronics of the CMS detector. Okay. And will you be here for much longer? Uh, no. No, I come back to Colombia in three days. Oh, I come back in a week. Okay. So yeah, we're not saying no. So you work on the pre-shower detector? Yeah. yeah. What, what is that? All right, the pre-shower detector is one of the sub-detectors of the CMS detector, CMS experiment. And uh, it's meant to reject uh, like false particles, which might be like signals of the Higgs okay. particle. So it's installed in the end caps of the CMS experiment, and it goes right before the electronic electromagnetic calibration. Okay. Basically, it's a detector consisting of uh, silicon strips. Uh, the purpose is to detect uh, photons uh, with a hybrid solution in order to distinguish in between high photons and uh, Higgs photons and the uh, pins projection. And what, what job do you guys do on the pre shower? You're electronic engineers. So, yeah, right? we're electronic engineers. Uh, we're, we're in charge of um, developing a testing system for all the readout electronics of this pre-shower detector. So the pre-shower detector has all the undetector electronics, all the silicon strips and stuff, and then it has all a data acquisition system. So the thing is that they couldn't test it without having the actual detector built. Uh, so they needed something to test all the acquisition system that will be developed. Yes, it's an emulator. Uh, the, uh, it's a data emulator from the the actual uh, uh, pressure detector and, and to test the electronic related with the acquisition data. Okay. The and so that's the project you've done in the six months that you've been here? Yes, yes. So we have developed that project and we have also helped in some other stuff yes. like okay. testing some electronics uh, doing some measures of stuff, yeah. uh, working in the clean rooms. Working in the clean room, uh, measure uh, some mechanical measures of the, of the position of the detectors in the, in the plates, mm -hmm. the end caps. So you've had some good experience then? Yeah, yeah we have really like good. Quite, quite good experience, like quite <laughs> different stuff yeah. around the pressure areas. And so you're from Colombia, how, how on earth did you end up in Geneva? Right, so University of Los Andes and especially the physics department at the University of Los Andes uh, have got a collaboration space in CMS and uh, at some point something called HELEN which stands for High Energy Latin American European Network uh, asked for electronic engineers to help in a collaboration to do some electronics here. Uh, so the physics department in our university as to an electronic and electrical engineering department uh, for people to do this job. Mm -hmm. And we applied and... Uh, we applied actually for uh, one, one place, but we obtained yeah. the... Yeah, actually the university place. had just one place. And in the end, they opened some more budget to bring it home. Great. Which is really good, yes. Yeah. And how do you find it being electronic engineers at and are you very separate from the physicists, or you will work together? Or? I think that uh, the work of uh, electronic engineers and physicists they are some related because you you can you have to know uh, the, some theory, some physics theory to mm -hmm. have uh, to going uh, in a good uh, form your your work, mm -hmm. and the physicists have no. Uh, have to do some te technical things yeah. in order to uh, carry out your, your work. Mm -hmm. and there Basically, is really you want to know reasons. what you are doing and what are you doing it for. Yeah, yeah. So what did you study before coming here? We both studied electronic and, electronic and electrical engineering. Mm -hmm. yeah.
probably two majors. So did your did your projects that you did kind of lead you into your work at CERN? Did they prepare you well or? Well, was actually more the uh, the link between uh, the physics department, and electronic and electrical engineering department in our university. Uh, our projects were you not know, the same thing that we were doing here, although they were a good like introduction to continuing a master's degree at the university, which is what we are doing now. Okay, and um, so now you're here in CERN. How do you how do you find it? You enjoy being in Geneva? Yeah, uh, we have enjoyed it quite a lot here. Uh, it's quite a different place, but it's quite nice. We went uh, uh, many towns in Switzerland and France. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. We have enjoyed the opportunity of travel all around Europe. Yeah. We probably have not known more places here than yeah. in yeah. all South America. Which is kind of nice. Really, really. I went to Ibiza in Spain uh, yeah. in the summer, and in, in Christmas I went to uh, Barcelona and Cantabria, and then from Paris. Yes. Wow. It's really cool. cool. Really, really wow. Great. And so, where are you from in Colombia? Uh, we both are from Bogota, which is the capital. Yeah. So, are there big differences between Bogota and uh, Geneva? Yeah, uh, big, really, uh, it's quite different because uh, the population of Bogota uh, are is uh, higher than the population of all Switzerland. Uh, and it's a little wow. town. And <laughs> it's quite calm and organized. And it's really Bogota organized. Is, it's <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's more cow. There are more cows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lots more cows. <laughs> So it's quite yeah, it's quite different. It's all organized, neat, yeah. Yeah. nice, and the temperature is always the same. Here, yeah, that's here. all the difference yeah. between yes. being in like all our country. There's no seasons. You can go from somewhere cold to somewhere warm, but yeah. that's the same all year. Whereas here, uh, we got the opportunity to be in the summer and in the winter. So yeah. We have enjoyed all the weathers. It's been like. Nice. And you've survived. Yeah. <laughs> and we have survived, yes. <laughs> Just about. And so what, um, what do you think of, of Geneva? Is there many things you managed to get up to in your spare time? Yeah, absolutely. There is plenty of stuff to do. Yeah. In summer, there's beautiful places to go to near the lake. Well, there's yeah, a lake. Walk so around all the cities. There is yeah, a lot of stuff to do. And in the winter... Many parties. <laughs> these parties, yeah. And yeah. In the winter, you can go skiing, snowboarding, and I went uh, to mountains. I went to Interlaken uh, and I did uh, skydiving. It's a really good experience. It's amazing. Uh, there are some other things that you can do, like uh, a rock scene. Yeah. And is there much of a Colombian community in Geneva? Well, being here, we have found out that yeah. it's quite a lot of people here living. And some of them are working here in CERN, uh, people who we didn't meet before mm -hmm. coming here. Uh, but yes, I think there is quite a lot of Colombians. Mm -hmm. And Latin America. In, in general, general, Latin America. Yeah. 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 And I hear there's some, some Latin American dancing that goes on as well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there are many places to go. Quite a lot of places, yeah. To go dance, to dance, and salsa, salsa and rumba, and 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 all on. kind of Latin stuff. Yeah. yeah. Evening, quiet little Geneva. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And what do you think? Um, so, what are some of your best moments? Do you think? You just said you went skydiving. That was yes, probably one of the. Was, was the one of the uh, best. Yes. And uh, when I went to go uh, to ski. So yeah. Really, really. Good I would experience. say going to the mountain in the winter is one of the best things yes. to do here. And you see all this, like Switzerland view. Yeah. Which is yeah. Like, yeah. Mountains, snow everywhere, all wide. Yeah. Great, and we've just got a little bit of time left. Very, very quickly, tell me what your future plans are. What do you think? So, um, we're supposed to carry on with our masters, but we hope we can uh, do an internship and go somewhere else to do to finish mm -hmm. uh, our postgraduate studies. Yes, I'm continuing to study English and apply to. Uh, universities to the post. Wonderful.
That's great. Thank you very, very much. Right. Thank you.